Okay, folks, we're back with Professor Lugnut. We are working on a 2006 Honda CRV, doing timing chains on it. And so, before we get into the car, I'm going to show you guys where all the timing marks are so it makes it a little bit easier so you know what you're looking for. We're going to start out with the oil pump chain down here on the bottom. In the right spot you've got an oil pump mark right there and two gold links and you've got your crank sprocket with an arrow and your single gold link there's also marks over here there's a line there and a dot right there that are for your main chain but also I want you guys to know that this gear has a dowel on the back side of it that sits inside the crankshaft to keep this from spinning. So keep our marks lined up there, get our arrow put back in the right spot. Then we can take our main chain and it lines up. chain in the right spot so we've got our dot with our link there we've got our exhaust cam it's got an arrow or a dot it lines up in between the two gold marks now our intake cam, it actually has a phaser on it, so it's actually still on the cam. I'll show it to you in a second. We've got our two gold links. And our arrow with a, and a dot right there. So we know that goes to the timing chain, but there's also a line right there. And a line right there on our cam gear. And those two point together. So if we sit the cam down here, beside us, and I bring the other one out here, those two marks, uh, we got in the sun, so let's move around here, see if we can figure this out. Let me turn around over here where we can see. There's two lines right there. They line up when it's in the vehicle. They're pointing at each other and then the dot here and the dot here line up with our two links and our two links. We also have our tensioner guide, our tensioner just a guide on the front side of the motor near the intake manifold. We have a plastic guide down here for the oil pump drive. We also have our tensioner for the oil pump drive. Next thing we're going to show is once we get it in the vehicle, we will show you some more information about it. Now this is where our oil pump chain goes. It's going to attach here on the crankshaft and then there's our oil pump gear. There's a notch right up there in the back corner right there that the pin goes in on your crank gear for your chain. So, this little dimple right here, it you know, sticks off, that pin goes in that notch. Yeah, we've got the balance shaft chain in place now. We've got our gear 
gold link and our dot right there on the bottom. So you see it right about there. Maybe that's a little bit better. We've got our two links up top. In between our arrow, we've got our plastic guide bolted down and torqued. We've got our tensioner bolted down and torqued. And now we're ready to pull the pin. And now we have tension on our ball pump chain. Okay guys, now that we've got our timing chain installed, we'll come back and we will look at the marks with the chain on so you so you can see them. You look right here. There's our dot with our two golden links. There is another dot on the rear exhaust cam with our two golden links. And right in the middle, there's our two lines where our two are lined up. And we come back down here and we go underneath the vehicle. And we can see the other timing marks. We can see our gold link right there, and the line, and get this thing to cooperate. Right there, there's the line with our gold link on the upper chain from the crank to the cams. We've got our guide installed there. We've got our tensioner guide there. We have our tensioner installed on the top of it. There, we can see our two links with our arrow on the back side for the oil pump drive, and then we have. For the oil pump itself with the guide and the tensioner. The other thing to not forget to install is the crank sprocket here. This is for the crankshaft position sensor tone wheel and it is actually labeled it says outside there's your PNA outside and there's nothing on the other side so at this point where we've got all of this installed now it's time to put this piece on facing outside where you can read the words or you can read the words right there it says outside on the outside of this so when you install the timing cover the crankshaft position sensor goes in the cover and that's what it reads so it knows where the crankshaft position is. The last piece that you do before you do all this, once you finish all this, is you pull this red pin out of your tensioner. The red pin. It is out. And now the tensioner can take over and put tension against the timing chain. 
There's also one more guide that is right here at the top. It is held on by the two center bolts here and here. You also have one, two, three, four, five, six special bolts that hold the valve cover on.